The other day we spoke about uh, two kinds of uh, object of consciousness. Sometimes consciousness has direct access to the object and can touch the object as it is. The Sanskrit term for it is uh, svalakshana. And it is translated uh, into uh, Chinese as tự uh, tướng. It means uh, own characteristic, own nature. If you need a translation, and then in French you you can say uh, la chose en soi, la chose en soi, uh, l'être en tant que être, uh, in English we have used the word suchness, reality as it is. And when when neuroscientists ask the question, what is really out there? So they are willing to know Lakshana. Reality as it is really there, because we are viewing with our organs and we have uh, constructed an image of reality. And that is our subjective vision of reality. It may not correspond to what is really there out there. So what is now out there? Uh, in Buddhism, we call it svalakshana tu tu. Tu itself. And when, basing on our uh, experiences, basing on our craving, our uh, prejudices, our uh, Mm, analysis, we transform the, uh, the original uh, informations into, into the object of our consciousness. It's called Cộng Tướng. Samania. And that is why uh, to know here is to, to recognize here is to recognize. Because we perceive in the light of our previous uh, experience. If we are to translate into English, and then Svarakshana should be translated into something like uh, the particular and Samanya as uh, the universal. We learn that everything is uh, impermanent being born and dying every moment at every shana. When you look uh, 
when we look at the flame on the tip of a candle, we see the flame as Samanya, an universal. We think that the flame is a thing, an entity. But if uh, we use uh, mindfulness and concentration to look, we see that uh, the flame is only a succession of uh, many images. Most of us look at the flame and believe that there is something long-lasting. That is something that can be separated from the rest. But in fact, if we look deeply, we don't see. We don't see that. There is uh, an example that helps us to understand this. In the dark, someone holds uh, a torch and uh, draw a circle. Quick enough. And then someone standing 20 meters or 30 meters uh, from that, see a fire circle, a fire circle. And he said, well, there is a fire circle. But in fact, there is no fire circle. There are only dots, image of the torch that succeed each other very quickly, that, that give, give the idea that there is a fire circle. In fact, there is no fire circle. The same thing is with uh, the flame. There is succession of flames. Each flame is born and then die in just in a fraction of a second. And the next flame is born because uh, the oxygen it consumes, the fuel it consumes is different. So there is a birth and death taking place at every moment. And, uh, and, and we, ca- we have the impression the flame is identical to itself, permanent, long-lasting. But that is uh, a mental construction. That is a samanya. And not svalakshinshana. When we look uh, into a leaf like this one, this leaf is uh, very much a, a, a construction of our mind. With meditation, we can look deeper and we can see that uh, a leaf is made of uh, elements like uh, sunshine, like cloud, like earth. And the universal is made of the particular. We are not able to see the particular. We can only see the universal. There are neuroscientists who who begin to say that consciousness is not is not a thing. Sepa in shows. <laughs> 